Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Wax. So, um, I went after going to the races, I went on a bit of a oh, let's browse for horses kind of thing on the internet. And uh, this is a video to show you the recent horsey purchases. Now, and then um, after I've shown you the recent purchases, I will. Um, turn the camera off and go and get all the horses I have in the different scales that I have and either do an extra bit of video or do it as photographs depending on what I can get in the frame of the camera so the first thing that horsey that I got after I've been going to the races I actually spent my winnings on this particular horse because there's a, at the, well there were two greys at the races and I totally fell in love with them and I saw one really close up in the car park I'm not sure which one it was but well one of them I found out was Midnight Cowboy he's gorgeous and there was another one so this is the horse that I got with my winnings so this is a pony parade horse and he's a grey dapple and he comes I got him from Argos and he comes in a bundle with this stable so this is the stable you've got the three compartments now the front of the stable doors are plastic but the inside of the stable is cardboard so you can't be too rough when you're playing with this because otherwise you'll just rip the cardboard so this set actually came with a doll to ride the horse and she's actually really nicely made her clothes are really nice and she can't, she has a jockey style hat on and it with straps under her chin and she actually has rooted eyelashes and inset in the glass eyes so I think that's pretty good quality so this set cost on Argos this set cost 29.99 and I won 25 pound at the races and then I also had some a bit of money left in my purse so I gave my mum the money and she went to Argos to pick it up after I reserved it so this is the doll so you do get a really nice doll and she's got a purple jumper with a pink star and pink trousers so this is the stable that you comes with it so it's really cute all the details painted inside the stable and you also get the pieces the the poles and the stands for a little jump and then you get a trough um, this little trunk case and then you get a brush and a little bucket and a, a spade and a fork in there and if you're only storing the one horse in here you can put those in there and then it's the dot and then you can put the, the horse in the centre stable and just slide in so this is the pony parade horse that I've got Now the the next one that the next regarding model horse terms the pony parade one and the next one I'm going to show you would be classed as in the toy horse section. So it's this one and it's the our generation horse. So this is a big horse and he's a thoroughbred. 
I found him on Amazon. Um, I've forgotten how much he was, but it was pretty affordable. And I don't actually collect the um, 18 inch sort of big baby doll type dolls, but I do have, um, still have, because I gave a lot of my Monster High and Ever After High dolls away because I, was, I wasn't really appreciating them. So I gave them away so somebody, somebody who absolutely adored them could have them. So, but this is, but I do have the uh, Monster, uh, Monster High Ghoulie Ape Darlington doll and she's pretty good sized for this horse. So this horse is really a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to like fit my Barbies better than the Pony Parade horse. But my Barbies are too small for this and they just they look slightly too big for the Pony Parade horse. So unless there's a scale in between this one and Pony Parade, um, I'm not sure. But the our generation big dolls don't actually if you look at real horses and real humans compared to horses, the our generation uh, brand and American brand American girl brand dolls don't actually aren't actually technically realistically in scale with the horse because they have massive heads that are about five times bigger than the horse. So I'm going to wrestle, figure out how to get this out of the box. It's very well um, tied into the box, so hopefully I'll be able to get him out of the box. The box does convert and you can use it as a little stable because it's got printed hay in the bottom. But I'm not totally sure if I'll keep the box because I don't really like keeping um, boxes because they they take up so much room so yeah so I'm gonna well let me just show you what the other horse that I got today I already showed you the other one that arrived which is the Pegasus and that was in the other video that I just made this one is Brea Villegro and this is a stable mate size horse which is 132 scale now apparently in model horse hobby this would go in the original finish category because it's um, basically original finish so yeah so okay i suppose i'll read the back Blegro is the dressage horse who can truly claim to have rewritten history no other horse has come close to being the reigning champion at the Olympics, London 2012, Wales, Normandy 2014, the European, Denmark 2013, and World Cup champion, Leon 2014 and Las Vegas 2015, all at the same time. He repeatedly breaks his own world record scores. He's currently stand at 94.3% freestyle to music and 8746 Grand Prix, both at London Olympia 2014, 86.12% Grand Prix Special at the 2014 World Equestrian Games. Incredibly, Allegro keeps getting even better and is favourite to do it all over again at Rio 2016 in the hands of Charlotte Dujardin. Dujardin. I can't say names. Thanks to the generosity of Carl Hester, Charlotte was lent the young Allegro to train up even before their winning debut in Grand Prix in the UK just four years ago, it was 2011, it was clear this was the horse human love match of the century. Bolegro's gold medal rush at London 2012 enraptured millions and spawned a new name for dressage, horse dancing. Bolegro is a 13-year-old, 16.2 hands high, Dutch warm blood bay galding, sired by Negro. He has been owned throughout his career by Carl Hester in partnership with Roly Lourard. Congratulations, you now own a genuine Brea collectible. So I'm going to adjust the camera now actually and show you a closer up look at this horse. 
and then after that I'll figure out how to show you the different scales of horses that I have because I love scales. See this big horse that I've got I will be playing with it with my tiny little dot two figures and it will be land of the massive enormous horses that they've landed on in the TARDIS and the TARDIS will be really tiny and then the horse will be really big and then the horse will be even tinier but then the TARDIS will be big and the horse will be tiny so uh, that's kind of fun I like I just love big little big little I love stuff like that so let me so this is Villa Grow out of the packaging and he's gorgeous as you can see with he has um, some really nice shading and he stands up really nicely which is apparently called confirmation and his mane is pretty and he's gorgeous so this is what he looks like from behind and from the other side the the sculpting is really nice and this is what the underneath looks like I do it so as you could see uh, somebody um, he has um, his willy but not his balls sorry immature which is how you can tell on the horses what the gender they are so either a boy, full set, um, gelding, which is just the length, or it's a, a mare, which is different, obviously. Ah. So I don't know if that colouring underneath is a ding or what, but you can't see it from the sat from the side on. So these are stable meat size, and they're at these are smaller than schlag size horses and so if you wanted to collect brayers but I haven't really got much space to um, display the big horses even though the big horses are so lovely to collect and they're lovely you can get this size because you still get all the lovely detail and colouring and stuff See, this is my review of Villegro. He's gorgeous. Yeah, I recommend him. So this is the Our Generation horse out of the box. This model is the Our Generation for a bread. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure of the proportions. He looks kind of a tiny bit short in the body and his head looks okay but it looks a bit maybe it could be longer I don't know. So this is the horse and it was really annoying to get out of the box because practically everything had plastic tags on or had plastic wrapped round it practically each strand of hair was plastic wrapped it's like a hate toy packaging that's really hard to get into it's just so annoying and unnecessary but eventually I got it out of the box so this is Gilead Jellington Monst 18 inch monster high doll um, on top of the our generation horse which claims to be suitable for 18 inch dolls so as you can see she fits pretty nicely on it and she fits pretty nicely in scale despite this doll having a sort of stylized head rough and very very slim body I don't really have any ball jointed dolls that realistic ones of this size so this is the one that I've put on here so it's a nice horse it has got some um, slight paint marks on it it's not the um, it's just basically plastic horse basically so it's a good toy 
and that's what it looks like from the front So I'll probably share it with my nephew in all honesty. I'm not sure I would if um buy it again or buy another one from this range. But it is going to be really useful for um it is really useful if you like to do um different scale photography and like surrealism photography with toys so if you like doing that it's really cool because here is a dinosaur and it's tiny so it's land of the giant horses and the tiny dinosaurs so that's pretty fun so i don't know if i'd go up any higher than this regarding the toys any higher than this scale regarding toys because you do kind of need the room in your house for it and I'm still struggling to find a way to store my toys that I can access them all the time and play with them or not. So this is it next to um, the, I think this is a 12 inch Cyberman. And then I have this Martin Freeman one doll figure thing so now I'm going to line up my different no hang on try mm -hmm. this horse also comes with leg protectors I thought there was four but I think there's just two leg protectors and then there's the mask thing that goes on his face. My knees are hurting. So, and there's a Junior Steeplechase little, cute little map thing. Then a Junior Sorry, something fell over. A Junior Steeplechase registration form um, a hoped hooves that will pretend um, horse pedicure cream a little brush so you can brush his plastic a carrot is kind of cute and you can feed it and you can go <coughs> And he eats his carrot and then you get a trophy for when he wins the race so that's quite it is fun horse and i think it would be a fun horse for for little kids to play with and that and i am going to i re, um, take a picture with it with my cat for comparison so yeah so now i've um i've set up some scale photography thing and it'll either so it'll either be me talking you through it or just some photos with some music so i'll stop there and go and set that up i hope you are enjoying this video though I'm not bored so i'm gonna go set that up hey. so these are the different scale of horses. So, the biggest one, which is the Argena uh, sorry, it's my hair. The biggest one, the our generation horsey, which I'm not sure what the fraction scale is, but apparently it's suitable for 18 inch horses. Doll. Sorry, I'm getting tired. Um, the next size that I've got is this Pony Pals one, and that's pretty similar size, slightly taller than the Bray Snowman model, which is this wire one. This is 
um, classed as a one nine scale horse. The next scale is this one, this brayer, which is the one twelfth scale. I think the slight this one is the one sixteenth and then you go to one thirty two for stable mates and then mini winnie's one sixty four so that's the different scale horses so I don't know if there's a scale in between the big one and the Pony Pals one because that does is quite a big scale drop too from the big one to the Pony Pals one so I'm wondering if there's ones there's a scale in between that where a Barbie doll would suitably fit because I think they do the Barbie doll dolls with the Pony Pals size so I'm all for like realistic scales and I get sometimes get a bit annoyed when things are out of scale. But yeah, so I was going to do more on this video but I'm really tired now. And when I'm tired I get unenthusiastic. So I don't want to sound unenthusiastic on my videos because when I am enthusiastic I am kind of regretting the purchase of the big horse but it's okay because I have a little nephew and I'm sure he'd love to play with it. So I'm going to um, sign off from this video now so I hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching.